Can you pick the perfect pineapple? Well, stick around. I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Curtis. Some call me Chef Curtis, others call me Curtis. I'm, you know, coach chef. I used to coach high school football and high school baseball and college basketball and love coaching. So I look at my role here as in sharing fresh fruit and vegetable tips, cooking tips as, you know, I'm your culinary coach. How's that sound? Pineapple is one of those wonderful, wonderful uh, fruits and it is, the, it is the international symbol of welcome. So in the South, you see the, uh, the pineapple emblem on a lot of uh, uh, gate posts. And uh, when you go to people's houses, there's pineapple on the table. And, uh, yeah, and, but I never really had eaten a fresh pineapple until I went to Hawaii back in, I think it was, whoa, I'm trying to think of the first time I was in Hawaii, back in the 80s, uh, the Eleniki family up on Maui uh, went out and they pulled the pineapple out of the, um, off the pineapple field, they just shook, cut it loose, sliced it open. It was like heaven, like biting into sunshine. So when buying pineapples, what do you do? Look at them, make sure there's no soft spots, no leaking, right? I like to tell people pineapples are like children. These little part here called the eyes, if they're treated bad, they will cry. So if a pineapple has been mishandled, it'll leak. So stay away from that. Now, a lot of people say you should pull the top of the crown out. Don't do that, you're just wrecking a beautiful crown. Buy your pineapple intact like that, and it'll sit on the, on the counter for two or three days. Remember my tip about buying what you can eat within three days, no more, because you start to lose all those nutrients. This is a gorgeous pineapple. It smells like Hawaii. Aloha, y'all. You wanna get the, the crown out? It's like opening a bottle of ketchup. Grip, twist, just kind of twist one way, then the other, pops right out. Hey, I'm Curtis. That's your produce for today. Enjoy.